A bike chain doesn't last forever, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to inspect your bike chain at home and replace it if it's worn out. The first thing to do is to use a chain checker to measure your chain for wear. Hook the rounded end of the tool into the chain and try and fit both the 0.5 and 0.75 ends of the tool into the chain's link. If the tool fits at the 0.75, that means the chain needs to be replaced. If the 0.75 end fits very easily or has play well inserted, it's likely that your cassette and front chain rings also have experienced wear and may need to be replaced. Good condition gears will have square tips, while worn gears are going to have sharp and pointy tips. So let's remove your old bike chain. Use your chain breaker tool and push out a pin from the chain. You can choose any pin for this and slowly release your tool when you're done. If your chain has a quick link, you can just use a quick link tool to break the chain instead, which is faster and easier. And if you don't have either of these tools, you can just use bolt cutters to cut off the old chain. With the chain removed, this is a great time to do some cleaning of the front gears. Use a cloth to remove as much dirt as possible from all sides of the chain ring, including in between the gears. Next, make your way to the rear derailleur. Use a pick or a small screwdriver to scrape off big chunks of dirt from the pulley wheels, and then use a cloth with isopropyl alcohol to get all of the remaining dirt. Finally, use a microfiber cloth and this flossing method to clean your cassette and remove any built up dirt stuck between your gears. This is best done with the wheel off the bike, but can also be done with the wheel on the bike if you don't want to remove it. We can now install the new chain on the bike. Make sure you're using the correct speed chain for your gears and also read any instructions that come with the chain. Some chains, like this Shimano one, are directional and need to be installed with the writing facing out. Begin installing the chain by feeding it through the front derailleur and onto the small front chain ring. Next, move to the cassette and place the chain over the smallest rear cog. Then, begin carefully feeding it through the rear derailleur. Feed it through the upper and lower pulley wheels and make sure the chain runs smoothly through the pulley wheels. There's a common mistake here and that's to accidentally route the chain over this retaining bracket. If you hear metal on metal grinding, double check to make sure you haven't made this mistake. With the chain through the derailleur, we can now size the chain for the bike. Bring the two ends of the chain together and test different lengths until you find the first point at which tension on the rear derailleur is engaged. Identify the length where you need to break the chain and then use your chain breaking tool to shorten the chain to the correct length. It's worth double checking before you cut since once the chain is broken, it can't be safely reattached. With the chain cut, double check your length and get your quick link ready to attach the chain. Many of these links will be directional, so make sure the arrow is pointing in the direction of chain travel while pedaling. Install the two sides of the quick link and then loosely fit them together. Some links will close by themselves, but many will require quick link pliers to snap them shut. If you don't have these, you can also just pedal the chain until the quick link is on the upper part of the drivetrain. Then, hold the rear wheel, push down hard on the pedal, and the quick link should snap in place. Now, just go through the gears and make sure your chain is running smoothly. And that's it! Enjoy your brand new chain! If you have any issues, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help!